Hey, brothers and sisters, hallelujah. Happy Resurrection Day, brothers and sisters. Praise the living God. Praise God Almighty, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, you know something? I want to tell you something. My Bible, and your Bible too, if you got one that's uh, uh, true to the original text, it says early in the morning, on the first day of the week, hallelujah, God Almighty, early in the morning, on the first day of the week, hallelujah, hallelujah, that they went to the tomb, hallelujah, because those women, brothers and sisters, they wanted to go there because the holiday was over. See, the Sabbath was over in the holiday. They wanted to go there and they wanted to uh, finish uh, preparing the Lord's body and doing more things to the Lord's body uh, in the traditions that they had in those days, brothers and sisters. But on the way, brothers and sisters, my Bible says early in the morning on the first day of the week after the Sabbath day, the first day of the week, brothers and sisters, the Lord's day, hallelujah, there was an earthquake, hallelujah. And the stone was rolled away, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Come and see the stone's been rolled away, hallelujah. 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 Come and see where his body laid. Hallelujah. Why do you seek the living among the dead? He is not here for he has risen. Hallelujah. He has risen in power and great glory. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord our God, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus the Christ. Hallelujah. For he has fulfilled all things, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. He fulfilled the Sabbath. He fulfilled the law. Hallelujah. And all things are reconciled together in Christ. One new man by the blood, by the resurrection, by the stripes, by the virgin birth of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus, the Messiah. Hallelujah. For he has come to break every train, every chain to release you from all bondages, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. He's the same yesterday today and forever. Hallelujah. He is our Lord Jesus. He's the same Lord that talked to Moses from the burning bush and said, I am that I am. Hallelujah. He's the same Lord that spoke with Abraham and told Abraham that about this time in a year, your wife Sarah will give birth to a son and his name shall be called Isaac. Hallelujah. He's the same Lord that said, shall I hide anything from my servant Abraham seeing as that he will do my will. Hallelujah. And become a mighty nation. And through his seed, his seed, singular as Paul tells us in Romans chapter 4, through his seed, all the world shall be blessed. And who is that seed? Hallelujah, brothers and sisters. It is indeed him again, Yeshua, Hamashiach, brothers and sisters. I want to tell you something this. All roads in the word of God lead to one person, the Son of Man, the Son of God, the Mighty One, the Holy One of Israel, hallelujah, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the fairest of 10,000, the Rose of Sharon, the Bright and Morning Star, the Lily of the Valley, the First and the Last, the Alpha and Omega, the Beginning and the End, hallelujah, blessed be His name, for He is one, He is one, hallelujah, the Lord our God is one, hallelujah, He is Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus the Messiah, the Christ, the Holy One of Israel, brothers and sisters. Forget not, never forget anything you ever read in the Bible. If you don't see Jesus in it, go back and read it again until it leads you to the way, the truth, and the life. Hallelujah. There's only one way, brothers and sisters. And there's only one truth. And there's only one life. And there's only one resurrection. Hallelujah. And that is Yeshua. John chapter 11 and John chapter 14, verse 6. Hallelujah. He is the resurrection and the life the Messiah, the Christ, the Son of the living God. Hallelujah. Blessed be His name forever and ever. Hallelujah, brothers and sisters. Many of you, brothers and sisters, desire to look for prophetic events. And you go and read those prophecies in the Old Testament. But brothers and sisters, many people don't see His story or history. They start reading into the text, brothers and sisters. They start seeing themselves in the text. And the, and the right word is exo-Jesus. To get out of the text what is meant. But many people practice iso-Jesus. They read themselves into the text. They conform the text to their preconceived doctrines and ideas, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, it's all about one. 
the one. Hallelujah. Even as Jesus told the woman at the well, God is a spirit and he wishes and seeks for us to worship him and in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. It is the truth. Jesus is the only truth, brothers and sisters. Get that in your heart today. Settle in your heart today. He is the resurrection and the life. Hallelujah. I know it's not Easter, but the Lord is putting that message in my heart today about the resurrection and the life. Hallelujah. He is the resurrection and life. He has overcome all things. Hallelujah. He's delivered us from the curse of the law and redeemed us unto himself. Hallelujah. He's prepared a way. Hallelujah for us. Hallelujah. Rivers in the desert shall I see. Hallelujah. Blessed be his name. Let's worship him, brothers and sisters. There is power, power, power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's worship his holy name, brothers and sisters. Let's bless him. Let's bless him. Let's bless him. Brothers and sisters, praise the living God. Let's worship the Lord for a moment. Let's worship him. Let's worship him. Let's worship him together. That's what church is all about, corporate praise and worship. Hallelujah. And brothers and sisters, when we do the praise and worship, we're ministering unto the Lord and blessing his holy name. When we hear preaching, it is God ministering back to us. Hallelujah. Yes, there's power in the name of Jesus. That resurrection power. That's what the Bible tells us. That's the power. It's resurrection power. The same spirit that raised him up will raise us up too, Paul said. Hallelujah. Power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, my God. Hallelujah, Lord, my God. Let your spirit reign, Lord, on your people, Lord. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. He's resurrected our hearts already. If you're born again, He has resurrected your spirit, man. Hallelujah. And He's going to come resurrect our natural bodies too. Hallelujah. Take off this corruptible body and put on incorruption. Hallelujah. Not by might, nor by power, but by His spirit. Hallelujah. Worship the Lord your God right now. Praise His holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's worthy, worthy, worthy is the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. His holy angels are here with us, brothers and sisters. His power is here for healing, for deliverance, hallelujah, for the manifestations of the gifts of the Spirit. Those of you who are seeking the baptism of the Holy Spirit, come forth and drink from the rivers of living water. Hallelujah. Christ has come to give you life. Arise, you who are dead. Hallelujah. Arise from the dead. And Christ will give you life. Hallelujah. He is the resurrection and the life. The firstborn from the dead. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Glory to his name. Glory to his name. Receive, receive, receive life eternal. Receive the resurrection. Hallelujah. Receive eternal life in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise his name, brothers and sisters. Receive. Come to the throne of God, to the mercy seat. Yes, that's it right there. I didn't even think about this song. I just started playing it. That's it. His love overcame the grave. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Overcame the grave. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is thy victory? For death, hell, and the grave have been swallowed up in victory, the Bible tells us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At the moment, in the twinkling of an eye, hallelujah, for the trump shall sound. Hallelujah. And we'll take off this corruptible and put on incorruption. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. Hallelujah. With the trump of God and the voice of the archangel and the dead in Christ shall rise first to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we be caught up together with them to meet the Lord in the air. So shall we forever be with the Lord. Therefore, wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He has conquered the grave. Jesus has conquered the grave. Hallelujah. Blessed be his name. Bless him. Bless him. Bless him, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. He is the mighty God. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. He is the mighty God. Hallelujah. Let's worship Him. Hallelujah. Let's worship Him, brothers and sisters, in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. As the Lord desires of us. John chapter 4. Bless you, Lord. I speak right now that the Lord is breaking every chain in your life. Right now, be delivered. Be delivered. You know, you're in, a lot of you go to those old dead churches that can't do nothing for you. So, you know, you've been looking and searching. But the Lord is always right there. The Lord, John chapter 4. Hear the word of the Lord. Jesus told the woman at the well. So Samaritan woman said, well, you know, you guys say we should worship uh, the Lord in Jerusalem. And then we say, worship Him here in Samaria. Which is right. Many of you say, oh, I go to a Baptist church. I go to this church. I go to that church. Where's the place where I can see God? Where I can get a hold of God and get healed and get delivered and get saved? Get baptized in the Holy Spirit? And what does the Lord say? He said, it's not either in any of those places. But God is a spirit. And He desires that all people, the time is coming and now is the time, Jesus said. And now is the time that God wishes that we would worship Him. In spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. Not in Jerusalem. Not all those people that want to keep worshiping a physical place. As Jesus said, John chapter 4. It's not about a physical location. Your church, your so-called sanctuary, or in Jerusalem there at the Temple Mount at the Welling Wall, or in Samaria, or in Damascus, or anywhere you want to go in this world. But He desires us to worship Him in spirit and truth. Right where you are. Jesus said where two or more of you are gathered in my name, there I am in the midst of you. Now many of you are looking because God raises up ministers. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 11. This is a place where you can receive and flow in the spirit of God. There's many of you who go to churches and you even message me bragging about your pastors. But when you need prayer, when you need healing, when you need deliverance, they're not there for you. That's this fallen end times way of seeing in church, brothers and sisters. But God is the one. The Lord Himself. It didn't say in there that your pastor is going to descend from heaven with a shout. It doesn't say the Pope is going to descend from heaven with a shout. It doesn't say Moses is going to descend from heaven with a shout. Ephesians 4, 16. But the Lord Himself, the Lord Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. With the voice of the archangel and the trump of God. Hallelujah. The Lord who has called you by His name. Christian, it's coming for you and me. Hallelujah. Praise God. He's the healer. He's the one who baptizes us. If you read your Bible, the Holy Spirit baptizes you into the church, the body of Christ, when you get saved. That's what the Bible says, and that is straight up correct theology. And then the Lord Jesus Christ is the one that baptizes us in the Holy Spirit and with fire, even as John the Baptist repeated in all the Gospels. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God Almighty. You want to be baptized in the Holy Spirit? You want to be healed? You need to be saved? Yeshua HaMashiach is the one who is doing that work. Hallelujah. He does the work. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God for Yeshua. Praise God for Jesus Christ. His love overcame the grave. His love overcame the grave. Hallelujah. He has delivered us from the snare of the fowler. He has set us upon the rock. Hallelujah. Yes. Hit us in the cliff of the mountain as He hid Moses. And He's let His glory pass by us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is slow to anger and abounding in love. And full of mercy and grace is our Lord and our God. Hallelujah. Bless His name. Bless His name, brothers and sisters. Worship Him. Praise Him. Bless Him. Hallelujah. We're two or more gathered in His name. He is in the midst of us. He promised us. He's with us, brothers and sisters. You don't need nobody but God. Hallelujah. And then God provides us brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. This is a place. This is a time. This is a day. This is a moment for you to give your life to the Lord. This is a time for you to rededicate your life. This is a time for you to repent of your sins. This is a time for you to make peace for those who have had no peace, says the Lord. Hallelujah. My peace I give unto you, He said in His Word. Not as the world gives, I give unto you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. This song is right along with the message that the Lord gave me. I didn't even know it. I just started playing the song that came up on my player. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. There's freedom in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I speak that where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty, the Bible says. Receive liberty from the flesh. Receive liberty from the things of this world. 
Stop being like an airplane driving along the highway. Airplanes don't drive on the highway. Eagles don't walk across the ground like a chicken, like a like a like a some kind of a goofy animal that they're not. An eagle flies, brothers and sisters. It catches the thermal wind of the spirit of the living God and flies. Airplanes catch the wind and have lift. Lift off. Hallelujah in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You're at the wrong altitude. Hallelujah. Come up here into the altitude of the Spirit of the living God, into the rarefied air of His mighty presence. Hallelujah. That's what the Lord has sent me here to do, to help you be prepared to meet the Lord in the air, to prepare the bride. Hallelujah. The place to meet Him. Where do we meet the Lord? In the air. Hallelujah. Far above all powers and principalities and forces of darkness. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we praise You. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. We speak victory, victory, victory in the name of Jesus. Victory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, I just speak your blessings down upon your people. I speak deliverance, freedom, and deliverance upon thy people, Father. Right now, I speak it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Father. Just pour out your spirit upon your people, Lord God. Hallelujah. Freedom and liberty. Hallelujah, Father. We praise your holy name, Lord God. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, you rule by divine right. We thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. For it is your right to rule and reign over this creation that you made, Lord God. Father, we honor you. We praise you, Lord God. Hallelujah. For you are the resurrection and the life. We welcome you, Father. We welcome you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, brothers and sisters. Praise His holy name. Let's worship Him a little bit more, brothers and sisters. Let's worship Him a little bit more. I want to keep worshiping Him. Hallelujah. Blessed be His name. Blessed be His name, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Let's worship Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's praise His name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord, my God. Oh Lord my God Hallelujah Hallelujah Lord Yes let's worship the Lord Hallelujah Jesus Hallelujah Lord Hey, brothers and sisters, let's continue to worship the Lord. Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now is the time for you to receive resurrection of your spirit. For His spirit bears witness with our witness, our spirit, that we are children of God. Now is the time for you to be resurrected in the spirit. To get ready to be resurrected out of this cardinal flesh. Let's get ready for the resurrection. Hallelujah. Glory. Holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Who was and is and is to come. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God Almighty. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Holy, holy. Hallelujah, Lord. Brothers and sisters, I want to give you a word from the Lord. It's like this, brothers and sisters. Many people want to hear from God. They want to know why they can't hear from God. They want to hear from God. They want to operate in the spiritual gifts. They want to be baptized in the Holy Spirit with speaking in tongues. They want to operate in the gift of prophecy, words of wisdom, words of knowledge. But you got, you got to take time, brothers and sisters. People want to just do things five minutes. You know this, everybody's got ADD. You know, all that's you know the problem with all this technology is everybody's got ADD, attention attention deficit disorder. That's what's wrong with everybody. Just running to and fro, running to and fro. Just got to know right now, right now, right now. God's not on your time. And then there's other people that have never heard from God. You know, like my old uh, denominational relatives. They think because God hasn't spoke to them, He don't speak to nobody anymore. You know, they they believe that. You know, the gifts of the Spirit have ceased because they have a form of godliness but deny the power thereof. They see no power in their church, so they think the church is powerless. But my Bible says God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hallelujah. It is with power. Jesus said you shall receive power from on high when the Holy Ghost has come upon you to be a witness to me here in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and the uttermost parts of the earth. Hallelujah. Praise God Almighty. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. Jesus said, these signs in Mark chapter 16, these signs shall follow those who believe. In my name they'll cast out devils. They'll speak with new tongues. They, lay, they will lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Hallelujah. Praise God Almighty, brothers and sisters. Signs and wonders are to follow us. Follow the church. Follow the gospel. Hallelujah. You've got to wait on the Lord. you got to tarry for the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, um, let me say this. In, correct, in, in exact correction in my spirit from the Lord. People who have no trouble with tearing, God doesn't make you tarry. People who have trouble with tearing, God makes you tarry. And the Lord has given me a witness to this, brothers and sisters. God has given me a witness to this message, this point. Here's the witness. When the young, rich young ruler came to the Lord and he asked the Lord Jesus Christ, what must I do to be saved? Jesus started listing off things, you know, honor thy mother and father, the Ten Commandments. Started, but he did not mention the Sabbath, all the other commandments. Then the young man said, uh, then Jesus said, and if you want to be perfect, you know, give all of your wealth to the poor and come and follow me. And the rich young ruler went away sad, the Bible says. That's why Jesus said it's easier for a rich man, to, uh, you know, a camel to fit through the eye of a needle than a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. This is exactly what the Lord was referring to. This is an example of what he's saying. Money was a God and an idol to that rich young ruler. That's why the Lord said that to him. Because he was an idol to him. So some of you even right now who's watching this video, money is an idol to you. Money is a God. That's the number one God and idol in the world, especially in America and in the Western world. It's money is your God. Those same people, they don't, you know, they have a problem. They, they look for the, you know, the legal way. Just like when the, the Lord's given me another witness. When Jesus said, when Jesus said, uh, you know, to the people, um, you know, he talked about love your neighbor as yourself. You know, what's the greatest ones? And then uh, one of the lawyers said to him, and the Bible says, in order that he might justify himself. He said, well, just who is my neighbor? You know, is everybody my neighbor or just other Jews? You know, and then the Lord began to tell the parable of the Good Samaritan, which you probably heard of. That was in reply to, who is my neighbor? So Jesus gave an example of someone who was really the enemy. The Jews and Samaritans were enemies, like the woman at the well was a Samaritan. So they were like uh, kind of like race relations in the United States, a kind of a comparative issue between uh, you know, racial relations uh, in America, in our history. Kind of a similar way of connecting it between the Samaritans and the Jews. So that's a witness, another witness from the Lord. So people seek to justify themselves. Well, you know, I don't know. Oh, you know, we don't really uh, need to give. I, I don't want to hear that prosperity gospel. 
Oh, yes, the prosperity gospel is wrong. But most people use that as an excuse. They're not interested in saying about God making them rich, which God does bless us when we give. If you give, Jesus said it will be given into you in good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over, will men give into your bosom. For with the same measure you measure, it will be measured back to you. He who sows sparingly will reap sparingly, Jesus said in Luke. I believe that's chapter 7. The Lord Jesus Christ tells us that. And he was referring to finances, to money. So many people will use the latest thing about the prosperity gospel to justify the reason why money is their God. For the love of money is the root of all evil. That's an example. So whatever it is, whatever it is, brothers and sisters, many of you, it's time, especially younger people. It seems to be, as I said, the Internet has created this generation of ADD people. They cannot go 30 seconds without, you know, they used to call it the MTV generation, you know. Got to have flashing lights and then all these special effects to mesmerize you, you know. Catchy little things to get people mesmerized, get their attention. Jesus didn't say, or the Lord told us that we're supposed to seek. We're supposed to ask and we were supposed to knock. Seek and you shall find. It's not done in 30 seconds. Unless, as I said, if tearing is not a problem for you, it's not a, a stumbling block to you, the Lord won't make you tarry. But if it is, the Lord wants to, us to stretch our faith, to stretch our unbelief out of our lives, to come in agreement with His Word, to be obedient to His Word, according to the Spirit and not according to the flesh. Brothers and sisters, He is the mighty God. He is the resurrection and the life. He has given Himself for us. He is holy. He is holy. He is holy. Let's worship Him a little bit, brothers and sisters. Let's worship Him. Let's worship Him. Let's worship Him again. He is holy. Let's worship Him again. He is holy, holy, holy. Hallelujah. Holy, 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 holy. You are holy. Hallelujah. You are holy. Brothers and sisters, that just came to my mind from the Lord. Another little uh, little word from the Lord. You know, I was just talking with Brother Clark, who did the website last night. It's something the Lord was showing me. You know, one time I went to this, uh, there's a Christian bookstore. It's now only online. And I went there, and the owner of the Christian bookstore was two Presbyterian pastors. And I went there and visited with them, and they even invited me to the back after they were closed, and we talked. I was telling them, you know, I was new in the ministry, telling them about that I was going to go be a missionary and all this, going to school. And as a matter of fact, one of them was effeminate, and he had a spirit of homosexuality on him, to tell you the truth. And uh, anyway, we were talking about churches, and he mentioned about assemblies of God. He said, I tried to visit there, and I just can't stand how those people keep raising their hands. They're like trying to force me and embarrass me because I won't raise my hands. The truth is the man was a homosexual. And number two, he was living in sin. Number three, he wasn't saved. And number four, he was justifying himself like I'm talking about. Because my Bible says, I would have all men everywhere raising holy hands to the Lord. Hallelujah, the Bible tells us in the New Testament. Apostle Paul said that. And then a text the Lord had given me as a proof text. The Lord always gives me you know, these texts as a witness to this. Here's a witness text to you. When the children of Israel first went into the wilderness after they crossed through the Red Sea, they had a battle. I think it's against the Amalekites. And Joshua was leading the army, and Moses stood on a mountain. And every time Moses had his hands held up, the army of Israel would win. And then when his arms would fall down, they would begin to lose. 
And so his brother-in-law, her, and his brother, older brother Aaron, they held up his arms until the end of the battle when Joshua and the children of Israel had victory. So the victory came as Moses' arms were held up. And then Moses set up a pillow there and a memorial and said, Yehovah Nisi, you know, God is my banner. So the, 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 the type and shadow of that and, the, and the, one, of the, one of the many layers of that text is telling us when we raise our hands in honor and glory unto God, we have the victory, victory, victory through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. For He is the only begotten of the Father, the one and only Messiah, Deliverer, Savior, Redeemer. Hallelujah. The hope of all mankind. Hallelujah. Our Messiah, our Jesus. Hallelujah. Call upon His name, brothers and sisters. He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler. He shall make you whole again. He shall heal you. He shall redeem you. He shall deliver you. Receive, ask, and you shall receive. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened to you. All these things, those of you who want to be baptized in the Holy Spirit, receive, as Paul said, Acts chapter 19. The very beginning, he asked those disciples there in Ephesus, have you received the Holy Spirit since you believed? They said, we didn't even know there was such thing as the Holy Spirit. Apostle Paul laid hands on them. They were baptized in the Holy Spirit and spoke with tongues and prophesied. Have you received? Not did God give you, but did you receive? God gave salvation. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. By His stripes we were healed. So you receive salvation. God already gave it. You receive healing. God already gave it. You receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. God already gave it. For by grace are you saved. Not of your own, but a gift of God. Not by works, lest any man should boast. You receive these things by faith. Through grace. By faith, you receive the things of God. We acquire all things from God by seeking and asking and knocking and waiting and believing. Hallelujah. For He is the resurrection of the life. The rapture is the same thing, brothers and sisters. As I've been building and the Lord is building, as He says in His Word, line upon line, precept upon precept. I made a video two or three years ago called The Lord Showed Me Who Will Be Raptured and Who Will Be Not. And just last week or two weeks ago, I made a part two of that. And that's it, brothers and sisters. The rapture is acquired by faith. Salvation is required by faith. All these things of God are by faith. You have to believe and receive, brothers and sisters. You have to believe and you shall receive. Blessed be His holy name. God bless you all. God bless you all. May the Lord's resurrection day be a memorial seared in your heart for time in memorial. Then on the first day of the week, on the first day of the week, Early in the morning, our Lord and Savior was resurrected. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's, that's why they have those. From the very beginning of the church, they also had those sunrise services and memorial of His resurrection. Hallelujah. Praise God, brothers and sisters. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I added this piece on the end for the Lord commanded me to come back on here and make a prayer for you. So I want to pray for you right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we give you the praise. We give you the glory. Hallelujah, Father, you are worthy of all praise. You are the mighty God, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord. I speak right now your blessings upon your people, Lord God. I speak the blessings of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I speak the blessings of the firstborn of the Most High God, Yeshua HaMashiach. I speak those eternal blessings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Eternal blessings of salvation, deliverance, wisdom, spirit of wisdom. Hallelujah, Lord. Magnify thy name, Lord, in your people, Lord God. I speak the magnification of the Lord upon his people and the magnification of his spirit, Lord God. We thank you, Father, for your Holy Spirit. We thank you for your grace, Lord God. We thank you for your mercy. Hallelujah, Lord. Deliver us, Lord God, from all the idolatry, Lord, in our lives whether it be money, whether it be fame, whether it be television, whether it be the internet, whether it be Facebook, whether it be a man or a woman or our own vanities of looks, of, of, of our own image, Lord God. Hallelujah. Even of false gods. Hallelujah. Of, of false religions, Lord God. Anything and everything, Lord. Witchcraft. Emulsions. Infirmities. Father, we just receive deliverance. We receive purification, Lord God. Hallelujah. 
we receive deliverance from strife and fornication. Hallelujah, Father. We receive deliverance. Hallelujah. From all the power of the enemy, Lord, you have delivered us. And Lord, we are free in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. For Lord, you said those whom the Son sets free, they are free indeed. Hallelujah, Lord God. We are free, Lord God. We were once slaves to sin. We were once were lost in sin until you, Lord Jesus, took us in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even as the song says, I once was lost in sin, then Jesus took me in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then a little light from heaven filled my soul. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He has delivered us and redeemed us, not by might nor by power, but by His Spirit. I speak His blessings of all things by the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ be upon you right now in the name of Yeshua, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I speak it in Jesus' name. God bless, brothers and sisters. We're going to be doing live stream uh, radio, blog talk radio on the website, which I'm going to put a link to this video on my other channel to the website. This video will be embedded on the website. You don't have to go to YouTube. On the website, in the chat room, under the chat room, we have live events. Blog Talk Radio, I'll be interviewing people like Brother Gary Bear, etc., other people. And you can go in and chat right there in the chat room on the website of our church, Church of the Firstborn. Chat on there, brothers and sisters, and even call in and talk on the radio show, ask questions, etc. You can also ask me questions in the chat room because I'll be watching the chat room. And Brother Clark who's our webmaster, and Sister Karen, ask you to pray for her. She's going to be the, she is the admin, the administrator of the website. Brother Clark is our webmaster who designed it, so I ask you to pray for those, uh, Brother Clark, and pray for Sister Karen as we do this and go forward with it. All the elders, the list of the elders are on there if you need uh, specifically uh, healing. There's a Brother Terry who has a gift of healing, etc. Uh, Brother Gary, dream interpretation, things like that. It's all on the website, brothers and sisters. As a matter of fact, I'm thinking about doing a, uh, a smart screen <laughs> uh, and, and do a tour of the website. As a matter of fact, Brother Clark did that. I, I want to ask Brother Clark to do a tour of that, and we'll post it. i post it on my channel, too. As Brother Clark is our webmaster. I ask him to do a tour of the, of the website, and then I'll also load it on my channel here, brothers and sisters, so we can see it, see what all's on there. And uh, God bless you all. God bless you all. I know God's going to bless you. I speak right now the Lord to bless you and multiply you. Let His Spirit rise up upon you and give you peace and joy. And I just hear that word fruitful. To be fruitful and multiply. Hallelujah. Be fruitful and multiply. Not only talking about having kids, but spiritual children. As Paul said, I'm your spiritual father because I have begotten you in the Lord. So be fruitful and multiply in the kingdom of God. Multiply Christians, brothers and sisters. Multiply those who are filled with this Holy Spirit. Multiply those who operate in the gifts of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Be used by God to begot children in the Lord, as the Apostle Paul did. God bless you all, in Jesus' name.